Alright, Illy here. I've gotten into the game again. Against Zeus himself. <laughs> Alright. Um, I have a feeling this is a community member because I know that they all went for... Actually, do I keep the other Gift of Immunity? I think this card is so good that I keep two copies of it even though I'm only playing one. Or do I just play both? Is it possible that it's correct just to play both? I think it might be, because I get more attacks off early game. This opening hand is trash can, other than the two gifted mutants, which is insane. So, Alright, well I'm not attacking this turn, so there's no reason to play the gift of mutant. Do I ever play the sign of doom ahead of time? I'm against a Zeus, so I think I have a little bit of time. Plus, I have the Mana Potion, and all of these are pretty low mana cost. Okay, so... We are going to Gift of Mune and Me. Now, do I use both? One, well, one, two, three, four, five means I would be at seven cards. Well, six cards. Is it harder to kill me now or later? I'd be at four HP. I think I only play the one. Then I'm going to use Crippling Curse here. Then we're going to smack it. And I think I Mana Potion out the Surter. Because Sir is actually pretty important. Spartan, okay. I don't think I'm able to use the Crippling Curse on the Spartan. The only reason why I used it on the Brontus is because it could get buffed kind of beyond my, uh, my purview. Let's see. So that, that can do three damage to that. How important is it to remove that Spartan this turn? He's going to have a 5 drop. It actually might be important enough to Crippling Curse it. Which implies that I was incorrect to initially Crippling Curse. So then I've got three mana left. Gonna play my sigils. I should have uh, autoed first. Brute, okay. I can kill a brute. That's not too hard. And that's a basilisk, which is a beginner card. So this might be a community member with a uh, with a low quality deck. Okay, so what's the best way to do this? Well, my leader auto is going into the brute. But it can't do that until you've fired. So you fire. You move down one. You move down one. You kill the brute, so I draw a card. Okay. So I'm going to Scion of Doom my cursed hunter here to kill the basilisk and now I've got three mana left so I think the soul play is correct one two one two three four yeah just to get her on board and I can buffer with scion of doom there's the Athena He's going to go ahead and kill the Surter. So I could deal five... I could kill that Athena, and I think that is correct. Is it? It might not be, actually.
but I don't really have much damage from hand here. And I never win the late game, even against like a beginner deck. So because my leader is going to die next turn, going to enrage and Scion the Soul. I think that's correct. And now I've got Enrage from hand, too. There's a Fury. So this bottom stone dies. It's dying with a soul auto, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so I'm going to play the soul down. That way that's out of the range of both the melee characters. Now, you are spending mana, one, two, three, to banish the Athena this turn. Playing the two hunters up here, and I'm looking for siege. There's the other Athena. Okay. So Fury is getting whooped. And I'm not going to attack in there because I want my leader to hit the stone. Stone of Gaia second. Nice plays. Hades in the back line. Let's see what I can find. Ymir for the health. Fury's getting banished again. And I think I saved that good years. He took uh, an extra damage in that scenario there. This is going to be a really tricky game to win, if it's even winnable at this point. There's Siege. I think I have to play Freya. and keep banishing this fury.
We have to look for card draw. I should have played it next turn. <coughs> All right, let's see what we can find. Well, Gunyur's Might isn't really what I'm looking for. Oh, shit. I should have banished first. Um... Yeah, I have to replay it and banish. Damn. That cost me a Ymir development. A web of word Ymir development. It's actually really relevant. It's possible that using the um, Crippling Curse on the Brontus lost me the game too. Okay. Well, it ain't over till the fat lady sings, but she's hollering pretty hard right now. I do not have Gift of Muted on. His board seems insurmountable, <clears throat> and I don't have Loki in this deck, so I think I've lost. But you never know. I think a lot of things. Okay, so you're trading in here. I'm not autoing with my leader, because Banish is worth too much. And then... I don't have any more buffs, so I may as well play that now. Not sure if there's any chance that I win this game, but I'm gonna try. Because I'm not sure. It's unfortunate that it dropped to a 3-7 and not to a 3-6, which is when he used Stone of Gaia. That's something to keep in mind. It just heals it to full. It doesn't actually add health. Or it still remembers what the initial health total was. One, two, three...
Wait, no, I can't play it this turn. So I have to banish. I can't replay my leader. This might be the end. He has lethal. Well, not if he does that. He would have just had to move his Hades 1, 2, and then smack the stone. But he did not. Oh, there's an Aphrodite. Yeah, I'm pretty sure victory was impossible there. I'll just show him the Loki. Maybe he'll surrender. Pop my siege. All right, well... That shows you what happens when you run into a deck that can sustain. And also what happens when I didn't get a chance to play my Gunior's Mites early. And when I misused a Crippling Curse. So th this one's a good one to look at to see how not to play it and common mistakes that can be made. Because I, I, think, I think I screwed up how to play that correctly.